السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم اف اللہ دا موسٹ مرسفل دا موسٹ کائن ہیلو این اگین ویلکم ٹو آؤٹ آف فوکس ویل وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ڈفرنٹ ایشوز اباؤٹ ٹو ڈو ود ٹین ایجرز اینڈ یوتھ اینڈ دا جنریشن ٹوڈے ویری ایکسٹریملی امپورٹنٹ ٹاپکس دیٹ وی ڈسکس ان ان دس شو ویل وی گیٹ ڈفرنٹ پیپلز Muslim girls' views and opinions about a certain topic and a certain thing that or how they feel about and how they are passionate about it. So, today's topic is discrimination in family. And I believe that this is a very, very important topic to be discussed because obviously we all have di- families, isn't it? And um, we all experience this and we obviously at some point in our lives at some point in the last we experienced discrimi- discrimination so today we have again sabiha joining us today how are you i'm fine thank you assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum and obviously we have um please introduce yourself um Nab- you I'm might know her already i'm nabila so for the viewers that don't know nabila alam yeah assalamu alaikum and um uh what are your favorite subject in school <laughs> my favorite subjects are science maths and drama oh yeah so yeah me too <laughs> right then so what is your opinion on discrimination in family um i think discrimination in family is um kind of an impo- important subject because i know being a teenager myself like sometimes There's we feel of yeah we f- like um i don't think in my family particularly we have any discrimination going on but um i know many people feel like there are there is discrimination like such as like sibling sibling rivalry or even yes. like <laughs> yeah Parent. i think it's good to yeah. have a bit of like you know healthy competition um to kind of and push you further but then um i know i know there are some circumstances where um you do feel like maybe your older brother maybe like more maybe like favored by your parents or it can be a bit and it can cause kind of conflicts as also well, uh, it is quite important important issue and I think it does need to be discussed. Obviously there are a lot of arguments that go on, go on in families isn't yeah, it? Definitely. But I, I, I think to be honest arguments are healthy in like a normal family. Obviously you're going to mm-hmm. go argue, you're going to disagree on things, you're going to agree on things. But I don't think like when you argue I don't think like you have to think about your tone. When you disagree yeah. with your mum I think instead of shouting and screaming yeah. and making a chaos in the house I think we should um like concentrate on what we actually how we, yeah. we are how we sound. I think you know, it's not sound. how um we sound. I think you you should you just need to like step out for a bit. Look at the b- yeah. bigger picture and Be instead calm. of yeah, instead of having an argument or like a conflict as we say, have like a healthy discussion. Kind of explain your points why you might feel indifferent about no not indifferent but differently about the subject and explain it to your parents. Maybe tell them show them show them like tell them about your perspective and they'll tell you about their perspective and you can kind of reach a con- like a, like a conclusion that you both agree with yeah. so so what do you think like yeah i think this is family. yeah i think this is a um you know vital topic to do talk about do you agree about. on her point yeah absolutely so um speaking for myself i don't think i've dealt with any like discrimination within the family since i'm the oldest and you know i've learned a lot of stuff from my parents but i guess when you are in this predicament you know like where you where to settle in so talk to your parents nicely and you know um after after um obeying allah and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam obedience to parents is one of the main things like um allah said is one um one of the hadiths rabbi rahmhuma kama rabbayna as-saghira oh allah have mercy upon my parents as they did bring me up when i was little so i guess that suggests that you know being respectful is one of the most you know important things even though you're having this um you know struggle within it's just in the end you should know where to yeah yeah wow you know about heart that's amazing <laughs> yeah um you learned i heard of that um, translation before though yeah yeah I, i just hadn't had the time to memorize it wow yeah. I, i i strongly agree, uh, agree with that yeah i think i definitely agree with sabiha and there's also another saying like um the gates to heaven is beneath your mother's feet so yeah. Yeah. I think it kind of just shows you need to respect your mom in order to 
like get to Jannah because and it's not even just to get to Jannah obviously your parents have brought you up from such a young age and I know my parents that had to go through a lot because at a young age we moved around quite a lot from country to country we I only came to this country with my family when I was in year three so um it was quite a difficult time for me and um, not for me, to but adjust, for my it? yeah, to adjust and for my family. Lot of stress. And, yeah, and my parents were going through a lot of stress, and they've done so much to help me and my brothers and sisters out. And I think exactly. it's kind of unfair. They sacrificed everything, yeah, they it? sacrificed so much, and it's kind of unfair for you to be, you know, disrespecting your parents. You might feel like, oh, they're you know lecturing they me, they're shouting you. at me. They obviously went through this. Yeah, they're not giving it? me feeling, but and then they day you need to understand they are your parents they're wiser than you they've lived longer than you they have experienced things Obviously, that you haven't they know, so they know best some teenagers they don't get yeah. that isn't it yeah they don't whatever get they're that. doing whatever they're saying they're doing it to better you as a person they want the best for you they everybody wants the best out of their children so um i think it's like respect respecting your parents is so important in my opinion yeah. it's but then one of your main yeah, priorities after yeah. you. But at the, at, the, at the end of the day, um, discrimination happen, does happen in families, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, discrimination between, um, not, not people in the family, but like other families, like, for example, the mum, sister, or the dad's brother. Mm. That kind of discrimination happens a lot, especially in Asian families, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of um, family problems and stuff, uh -huh. isn't it? So yeah. I think instead of complaining about something or complaining about uh, the way um, someone did something um, and, or anything like that. I think we should just like keep calm and agree on like yeah. what actually like is the matter here, isn't it? Do you agree? Yeah. I guess it's important to, you know, come to terms with the, you know, uh, arguments that you've had but ultimately know that there's no benefit, what are you going to get from, you know, Arguing having r yeah, rivalries and stuff, so... And not know. talking to someone. Yeah. Like, not talking to someone, a friend, a friend or a family yeah, for many after years, three that's days. Just, that's just... Apparently, that's... Um, do you hear about that? I'm um, not sure. If you stop talking to someone, um, I think it's three days, yeah, mm -hmm. if you stop talk talking to someone after three days, then um, you get good enough for it. You have to make up with them. You have to uh, um, say sorry. Yeah. Be the bigger one to forgive, or be the bigger person to say sorry. Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's the most important thing. Whether it's haram or not, you just have to be the ultimate person who's going to be, you know, going up to them and just saying yeah. sorry and look. And even yeah. if you're really, really angry with them, just you have to learn to forgive other people. Because if you give other people, then Allah will forgive you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think. I think in the bigger picture I think you should just learn to avoid conflict in general like mm -hmm. just try be mature about every situation and just yeah. avoid if you think that doing something is going to get you into a situation like like a predi predicament that's going to you know maybe um, hurt somebody else or that's going to get like you know that's not going to be beneficial on somebody else and it's going to cause conflict I think you should just avoid that and just always look for the best situations always think about what the consequences are going to be for your actions like if um and i think always um a lot of children like um youth nowadays they're getting more and more used, like okay with talking back to your parents and, and talking rudely and yeah, not talking in very, a very decent rudely. manner yeah um because a lot of teenagers get away with it yeah. these days especially the ones you watch in movies in it like <laughs> the way they treat the parents is unbelievable. I think, yeah, I think media is influencing yeah, children media. a lot and people are becoming more and more okay with disrespecting, your, disrespecting it's becoming their parents. A, kind of a norm now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Almost a like norm. a norm, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of teenagers, like, oh, they say, oh, hormones, problems, but it's yeah. not. It's not that. Exactly. That doesn't not. give they just you the right. It's not an excuse, mm -hmm. definitely. Exactly. Hormones is not the way. Going through puberty. Every, is not yeah, the everybody goes through puberty. Hormones are normal, but you. Like because you have hormones doesn't mean you lose all your sense of self self control. Because um, even everybody ha gets hormones, but you don't see everybody all the all the like teens on the street disrespecting the parents. Exactly, not in the old time. To, yeah, the you just need. They've had hormones too, but yeah. they still had exactly. the decency to respect they their parents. Them. Yeah, exactly. That's so, so I guess true. media plays a vital role yeah. in you know influencing exactly. our oh, behaviour. Because society's changed, yeah. we've gone into the future. But and but the thing is, I do think it is it's important for you to be able to communicate to your parents because yeah. I know in a lot of families, 
um, children are f afraid of their parents and so therefore they hide things yeah, from Yeah, you were parents. talking about the two types of parents last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there are, um, there are, no, there are actually three types of parents. Three so types of parents? Yeah, the yeah, I think I remember. Yeah, so there are the assertive ones, which assertive are the best, one. aggressive and passive ones. Passive, yeah, yeah. So um, I think passive parents, they're like the parents that kind of let everything, let the children do everything and anything and I think that's in those situations the children kind of become like they start taking advantage of their parents so they start abusing their like their roles as children and it's, and it's just like they just disrespect their parents they do anything and they start leading the wrong path and the parents kind of don't really care and the aggressive parents are like like i was saying when you're so scared of your parents you don't really tell them anything you can't talk to them about anything and what you do is instead of being open with them, you do do the things they don't want you to do, but hide it from them, like secretly. Which I think I think that's the worst. And because there when are you're actually parents. in trouble, isn't it? When yeah. you're actually in trouble, and then your parents don't know about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just gonna so, get in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. And what's the thing about uh, assertive, assertive parents? parents? I think when you're kind of like on the middle ground, like um, you you ha you like you allow your children a certain like you know limit of, of freedom but then um you're not overly you know strict with them and but you are strict with them you're kind of, you stand strong on your on the things which are most important like make sure they're keeping up to date on their studies religion and you know like what are most Obviously important in life, but you still yeah but you still allow them you know a social life to have, allow, allow them, them to have to, a social life yeah and but then as long as it's benefiting mm -hmm. your children you know not harming and your children because obviously our parents just literally as i mentioned before all the time our parents literally just want the best for us yeah the, anything they do is not harming you it's benefiting you just mm -hmm. remember that it's helping you even if you think it's harming you it's actually benefiting you yeah because yeah. I think my parents definitely they are um, they're more assertive. So whenever I do come, whenever I do face an issue, whenever I'm having a problem, I can always go straight. I always go straight to yeah. my mum. She's always so understanding. She's always there for Aww. me. And even though I might get a bit of a lecture, I kind of expect that because obviously the lecture I need at the end of the day yeah. helps you because because it helps me understand what even if they go on and on about the same yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. So do you agree with the assertive parent thing? Um, yeah, absolutely. I I what think do you think your parents are in yeah, that category? Yeah, I think my parents um, would want the same things as everyone's parent does. Yeah. You know, care and communication is actually key to you know having a healthy relationship and ultimately becoming closer to Allah. And, you know, with this in mind, there should be no reason why you should, you know, disrespect your parents. And if you have this um, balanced relationship, then, you know, there should be no trouble. Mm. Yeah. So what about you? Well, yeah, I agree with, I agree. I think my parents are kind of assertive as well, isn't it? They, um, they, they do things, but it's for my own benefit. And they um, tell me not to do things which are for my own benefit as well. Yeah. Obviously, to, like I think I know some people are like kind of gonna disagree with me on this, but I do think there needs to be a certain level of fear because if you're not scared of your parents, it's like it's like you know. You have anything. you heard about the dove thing with Allah? Like um, the dove basically represents Allah. Like it's right wing. It is um, your. Faith. faith in Allah, its left wing is fear the fear Allah. of Allah and the head of the dove is your love for Allah. Aww. So that's how it, like everything should be balanced. If balanced, like yeah. one, if maybe your faith in Allah, you have a lot of faith in Allah but you're not scared of Allah, like the dove's not going to be able to fly properly and if you're too, if you're more scared of Allah than you have faith in Allah, it's like, you know, it's unbalanced and that's like the most important and obviously mm. without your love for Allah, which is the head. Your head is the most important because that's where the brain is, and you know, it's exactly. Um, you need to. You need to have that fear, parents. love, and faith in Allah. You yeah, need to have the same goes for your parents. You need to have. Oh fear. yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. yeah, your mother, your parents are yeah, literally fear, above respect. anyone, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. They're literally above anyone. No one becomes before your parents except Allah, obviously. Yeah. Oh, obviously, and, obviously. The <laughs> and um, no one g uh, goes uh, above your mum, isn't it? And then your dad three times. Yeah. yeah, everyone probably knows that story. Yeah, that's <laughs> who wants to tell it? Why don't you? Who's to tell it? Do you want to say right. it? Right, a long time ago, <laughs> um, a man asked Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 
um, who, um, who's the most important person in my life, something like that. And then he goes, your mum. And then he asks again, who's the second most important um, per, uh, in my, uh, person in my life? And then he goes, your mum. And then he, the man asks again, and he, and he said, your mum, three times. And then he, the man asked again, and then he said, your dad. Which shows, doesn't it? It shows how important your mummy is, like, yeah, yeah. three times before your dad. Because obviously, like, your mum bared you in her stomach for nine yeah, months. Nine like, months. That's for, like, one it? year, yeah. and then, and then no, 18 years of... Sleepless nights, and, you know. Yeah. You know, and then 18 years of taking care of you, like, oh... Yeah, yeah, sometimes even more. Sometimes even more. Some people just don't get married at 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Well, you move out, innit? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> so, like, I think, yeah, you should definitely respect your parents and you need to appreciate everything they do for you, everything they give you, like... Um, Not teenagers don't appreciate you. Yeah, even yeah. your father, like, he works day and night, and some people's mothers as well, they work day and night yeah. to provide for you, to and shelter they you, push, feed, roof over feed your, you, yeah, um, feed you. Isn't it? They cook definitely. and stuff, they clean the house, plus they work. Yeah, I think isn't with, it? with like, household work, I think... You, you should definitely and, uh, and this goes to back to discrimination because um a lot of people think like the brothers don't really have to clean and all the like you know the sisters have yeah. to clean which i don't agree with i think everybody sisters, exactly everybody yeah. should it's equal isn't it yeah. brothers and sisters I, I think in my opinion they're equal isn't it yeah. they should do the same things that why should the sister not be al allowed to go out if the brothers are allowed to go out do you get what i'm saying yeah but then there's a, there's a, a sense of you know yeah. boundaries like there's a time you are allowed yeah, to yeah. do I think, yeah, I think um, both the brother and the sister should be given a time limit and a boundaries of what they can and can't do. And I don't mm -hmm. think e either should be, like, different for each other. Like, because um, nowadays people consider going out as, like, quite a negative thing, but it doesn't necessarily have it's to it's be. It's not a negative You could go out with your friends. You could watch, you could go to the movies and have dinner, lunch with your friends. That's nothing, no, that's not really that bad. But then Shopping. what a lot of people do do is, like, you know, drink and smoke. Oh. And that's, no, that's when it gets, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, you don't want to get into that. And another form of discrimination is, like, a lot of guys kind of, like, they, they think it's okay for them to drink and smoke. But as soon as, like, a woman does the same thing, they kind of, look down on the women when and I think that's really hypocritical because yeah. you're doing the same thing aren't exactly you? and they call girls such horrible names yeah I think I think it's not okay for either to you know do anything like that because it's forbidden in Islam isn't it mm -hmm. that is so true what about you yeah you so like yeah at the end of the day in the day of judgment who you're not going to be you know placed as high as someone else just because you're a guy or a girl Allah's going to treat you equally and you know whether these you did, that's going to all come yeah. down to whether you go heaven or hell. Yeah, so, because you're, everybody's equal in that eyes of Allah. Like, everybody's, everybody's created in Allah's image, so I think... There's no point of... Um, yeah, discrimination and exactly. inequality. Because Everyone's equal. Yeah. Everyone's literally, whether you're black, white, brown... Even like Muslim and Jew and Christian, like yeah. all unless the, yeah. everybody's equal, it all goes down to your good and bad your deeds faith, and yeah. the day of judgment and your, your faith. faith in Allah. Yeah. How strong it is and how weak it is, isn't it? And how you follow. Um, oh, that was a pretty uh, intense uh, subject, wasn't yeah, it? So. Whoa, <laughs> getting deep. Oh, digging deep in it. Yeah, because I think because it is quite a deep and important subject because a lot of children they're kind of forgetting how important it really is. Yeah. Because obviously don't we all really do sometimes. Isn't it? We all do. Yeah, I think we get yeah. sometimes. Everybody's had perfect, an argument with their yeah. parents, haven't they? Yeah. You can't sort of some kind of disagreements because yeah. obviously we're all human. Disagreements are part of human nature. So yeah, it's we don't have all, we don't have the same mind mentality, yeah. the same thoughts, the same experiences. Yeah. We all have different things. That's why we have different ideas and different. That's why we have disagreements yeah. and stuff. So we think something's good for us when it's not, and then at the end of the day, our parents know best. That's yeah. all I can say. Our parents know best. And definitely, it's like human nature, isn't it? So like, um, we're not all going to agree with, e with each other, but it's at the end, end of the day, it's more about how you deal with the situations and the disagreements rather than, you know, having the disagreements because the outcome is always, like, always the most important because that's what's going to That's so true. That is so true. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. 
How many um, siblings do you have, Sabia? Um, I have three. Yeah, so three. I'm the oldest, and my brother's currently 18 months. Oh, so 18 months? Yeah. Oh, newborn. Yeah. Oh, um, I didn't see him. Um, yeah, he's actually here today. Is he? Yeah. Oh. So everyone loves him to bits, and I guess that's oh, he's, so cute. he's the one that keeps us tame. And you know, Bizarre. and all about your sisters? Yeah, I have two sisters. One is thirteen, and one is um, ten. Ten. Oh, so and so, do you sometimes have disagreements with them? Yeah, all the time. But I guess they know who to look up to, and you know, exactly because you're the oldest, yeah. you're the mature one, obviously, isn't yeah. it? So, so they uh, respect you and stuff, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's cute that they have little siblings that you can teach and stuff. Yeah. And like, play with, isn't it? And that you can be their role model. Yeah. And, and they can learn them. a lot of stuff from you. Yeah. And, you know, someone to guide them, because, you know, if they have disagreements with their parents, say if you, uh, you need advice, like I didn't have an older sister to give advice oh. to, so they could come to me and I could just, you know, yeah, help the them in a way, sister, yeah. Isn't it? So you can, they, you can be, they can, like, you can, they can be inspired by you basically, yeah. isn't it? Who about you? How many brothers do you have? Um, I have I two know. siblings. I don't know at all. <laughs> <laughs> so one older brother and one younger sister. My Easy. younger sister is actually exactly one year younger than me. Yeah. And Look. guess what? Her birthday, what, when's her birthday? 7th. 7th April. April and her birthday, her sister's birthday is on there. 5th. 5th April. Can you believe that? Look at, yeah. like, literally like one day. That's, that's amazing, like, isn't it? That's like my mum. She uh, her birthday is on the twenty seventh, and my sister's on the twenty eighth. Really? September. Oh yeah. my god! Wow! And Literally, just you just have like a joint birthday, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, us two have a joint birthday. We oh, celebrate so on the sixth. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I think the conflict kind of thing it definitely relates to me and my sister because we are such um, we're so close in age. We kind of. Bond like, yeah. more, isn't it? Like oh, so have the same like experiences, friends, yeah. have the same, yeah. I understand yeah. what you mean. Yeah, we're it's like a basically a friend, basically. Yeah, we're in your house. Yeah, our like best friend living in your house. Like yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Oh my god! Like, yeah. imagine your best friend living in your house. <laughs> we are literally like best friends, and Aww. we're so close. And we share all of our. Well, the amount of fights to have. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Um, yeah, because if you live with so someone, similar. obviously you're gonna have fights with them. Yeah, it works with marriage, it works with family. Yeah. If you live with someone, literally like, live with them, then disagreements would happen. Yeah. But if like the like your friend from school, then less disagreements. Oh, you know. Yeah. I'll just leave it. So unfortunately, we have a really, really, really a little time left. Have you got any? Have you got any um, quick words to say? Um. Any messages for the viewers? Um. To um. Anything to do with discrimination in family? Um, I think. Give them advice. I think the most important thing is um, you need to you need to res you need to have respect for each member of your family, especially your parents, your mum and dad, and you need to avoid conflicts however you can. Kind of listen Control to each yourself, other. Yeah, yeah, listen to each other, communicate with each other, and obviously, like just be optimistic. Kind of have a healthy, happy. Interaction family with, life. yeah, ha have a happy, positive family life that you want to get back to at the end of the day after school. You're like excited to return to your family, yeah, to talk, oh, yeah, to talk to your family about what what's happened throughout the day. So I and think just try to make a conversation with them. You know, just try and make a conversation. It? Like always, conversate with them. Just be, have like a close relationship, bond with each other, and just yeah, you know. What about vibes. you? Have you got yeah. any messages for the viewers? Yeah, I think overall you should just um, respect your mother the most because yeah, at the end I of agree. the day, when you were born, your friends weren't there, your mum was there to nurture you, care for you. So I guess it all goes down to respect for the mother. Mm. Respect for mother. Yeah. And overall, the whole family, yeah. isn't it? And then comes, you know, the dad and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really, I agree with both of you. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank I'm really you. grateful. I literally loved like the points you made. I really um, could. Uh, I probably agree. Basically, I really. I hope all the viewers agreed with you as well. Thank you so much for um, staying with us in our new show, Out of Focus. Please, please stay tuned for next time for some more topics and discussion about Islam and generation of us, our youth society today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.